I've got an idea. Let's try it. I was live streaming and I took the corner and uh, it kept driving straight as I kept turning the steering wheel. And then all of a sudden I saw the smoke and I was like, yeah, spraying oil everywhere. It just kept running oil out. I couldn't stop it. Slowed down, I put a hose clamp over bubble wrap, take the hose off and try to make one, but we're dead in the water. This thing isn't going anywhere tonight. And I need to get the spraying done. So this has got to get fixed right now. See all the rubbers come off, and right there is where it broke apart. Starts spraying, so the whole hose got to be replaced. We don't have these fittings. We'll go to town. We'll get a new one. I think they'll have this in the morning, so probably have this thing running again by nine o'clock in the morning. And then the weather is coming in about two in the afternoon. So if I spray as soon as we get it fixed, get that load done, get one more done, I should be good to go rain fast wise as far as rain. But okay, we'll continue this when we get to there in the morning. All right, we're back. It's in the morning. Leg arms ran to town and he got the right fittings. So he's putting on the new hose that was just made. Um, it's oily under here, but I'm just gonna run it. It's gonna be dirty. That's okay, it's dirty on here anyway, so we'll go and we'll wash it. But the rain's coming in about five hours, so I should have enough time to hopefully get all this stuff sprayed. If all works out, I'll get the stuff sprayed that they planted and then maybe start some other stuff, but we'll find out. But I can't wait to get this thing going again. That hose was rotten. It was bad, all the rubber was gone off of it. It was just braided hose at that point. So we need to replace the rest of them too, but we'll run it for now, because we can do that on a rainy day, like today, later. strong uh, steering feels like it should so that's good just a little hydraulic hose not a big deal just didn't have the right fittings last night to fix it but gotta get this done though uh, the rain's definitely coming um, but I think I should be able to finish what I need to finish before so that's all good well I think I'm good to go for now I shut a shut them down parked them there I got some washing to do obviously all my oil I sprayed everywhere under there is gonna be a mess but I got the spraying down I needed to do ready for a vacation yeah, it's only been two weeks this. I'm ready for a vacation. Okay. Yeah, I was running along and I was looking back. And uh, of course I can't see behind that back tank. And so when I turned, I noticed, and I'll show you, all these, which are called press wheels, has an uh, issue, as you can see here. not turn it when it's not turning it's dragging and I can't see it behind the cart until I get uh, around and then I look and I'll say ah oh, there's something going on so what has happened is they've got some uh, a strip of iron that will uh, clean out between the press wheels if it's muddy but also rocks and what has happened is this this one here has gotten moved over some and is allowing a space in there where a rock picked up by the two press wheels has come around and, and locked itself in between wedged itself in between there so but anyway yeah we'll get this taken care of then we'll be on our way
Okay, that should take care of that. Back to seed Ethan. Uh, with this spring done, we're getting closer to uh, the spring wheat being finished. Got some chickpeas to seed, and then we're good for 2020. And let the rains begin. Got the boom crane running. Actually, it's a digger derrick, but I call it boom crane or service truck. One of those two. Need to run down and uh, take off one of the press wheels. And once I get that off, pull off the wheel and put a new bearing on it because it's shot. It's completely gone. And then go put it back on and start seating. Fun. little toast well not much left in it when I pull it apart I'll show you it's a common occurrence it happens the seal breaks then it breaks the bearing and destroys it take this back fix it bring it back put it on go all right now that I'm back I'm going to take that apart but before I do I need to get some coffee somebody gave us these and I think I got the last one Thank you. Let's take a little closer look at it. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, uh, there's a little bit of slop in that. We could probably just pack it full of grease and call it good. Yeah, okay. I'll just pack it full of grease and put it back together. Well, it doesn't look like it destroyed the pillow block, which is awesome because, well, I can reuse it. That's the beauty about these pillow blocks, is you pop the bearing out, put a new one in, where you go. They just suck to get at. This one actually wasn't so bad because we've had this apart before and we put anti-seize on it, so it came off very easy. When Flex Coil designed these uh, Packer wheels, they had an inch and a half axle shaft and then they had a pipe that was so close and our tolerances were so close. Well, after a while, it starts to get water in there and then rust and then they're a pain to get off, so. Glad it's off. Let's go back. Let's get a bearing. I should have a couple on the shelf. Uh, we always try to keep a couple because this is a common occurrence for us. I know. We grease them once a year. We used to grease them every, you know, few decent amount of hours, but we don't want to over grease them. All right, what do we got here? There's one. Let's go put this in and then we'll take the other one off and put the bearing on and Put the press wheel on, put the nuts on, and go seed.
When I install the bearings, I wanna make sure the grease hole that's right there lines up with the greaser. They do have a nice ring cut out inside, so if you don't get it lined up, it'll grease it, but that way it will make sure it has grease in it. Back together, let's go back to the field. It was cracking around the pipe, so I decided to weld it all up, make it stronger. Yeah, let's go. Guess what guys? It is that time and is the time that is, well, it's the time that's busy. It's a lot of times. We're seeding, we're spraying, we're getting a lot of stuff done, but there's also something else that's gonna happen too. The guys that are gonna start pouring the foundation for those new bins, they just arrived. They're over at the Quonset, they're starting to set up, and uh, this is exciting, because that means when they get that poured and it cures, then the other guys can come and they can erect the bin. And then we have, well, not just a bin, but two bins. We're excited about this. More storage means less storage in that big building, which means more equipment in the big building. We're excited about that. We need more storage, so anyways, we're happy. This is exciting, guys. Awesome. Don't worry, there'll be more of that, but we gotta get back to seeding. Well, we finished emptying out the first hopper bin of seed. So now we gotta move to the next bin and uh, then we can start pulling from that and finish out some seeding. Hopefully we'll have enough to finish it out. We should, but you never know in case for some reason we did our math wrong or the fertilizer and seeds being put on too heavy, then we could be running out of it. But hopefully that's not the case. Let's start up the 4520 John Deere, pull the grain back forward, set it up. Wiggles can come by and fill up whenever he needs to. There she is. Rain's coming. That's okay, got a load out of spray. Two loads actually. Did get a few acres planted, so we'll shut down. We'll see how it does tonight. Be a nice little break, kind of let me have some time to veg a little bit tonight, not think about farming. Because, you know, we think about farming a lot. Cool, all right. Well, we'll be back in a minute. All right, well, now is my chance to get ahead of those things. It rains, so it's too wet to plant, but it's not too wet to spray. And there's a little bit of showers on and off, but I think from here on out, shouldn't have any more rain. So my goal, if I can get about four or 500 acres sprayed today, plus what I sprayed yesterday, I can get ahead of the guys and spray spray the rest of the acres before they plant. And then that's one burden off my shoulders, so I can move on to the next thing. So let's hope that works. I'm just gonna drive a little slower so I don't fling mud everywhere. <laughs> Cause it's uh, there's a little bit out there. So this bottom I'm driving across, this was actually underwater last year, last couple years. And I'm amazed I'm not sinking down to my axles in it, to be honest. I'm a little nervous driving on it. it makes me a little uneasy, but there's a lot of stuff growing on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and risk it. If I get stuck, let's just pray that doesn't happen. But 
as you can see, there's a lot of cheatgrass growing on it, and I'm pretty sure the guys are going to try to seed this because we'd like to get something growing on it. Very alkaline in soil, a lot of moisture down deep. It'd be a great time to put a crop on it, pull some of that moisture out of the ground, help dry it out because that bottom down there, if we don't grow stuff on it, it's just going to get more and more of an alkaline, salty base, and eventually it'll just be unusable. This could be one of the years we can get some growing on it. So that's the plan. That's why I'm spraying it. Wish me luck. I'm heavy, so I could totally just break through this surface and uh, get stuck, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'll be okay. Oh, I'm back at the shop. So, of course, I didn't bring my video camera, and uh, I blew a tire. But it wasn't just any tire. I jumped in one of the grain trucks, uh, the blue Ford Tandem, and I was taking it back over to uh, a different location and the front tire blew out on my way. So I got to quickly grab a jack and uh, a few things, take the tire off, run in town, get a new tire. And because uh, we kind of need that to move some uh, fertilizer. So, okay, let's get at it. So we're moving the trucks, the green truck and this blue truck right here, back here to the home place so that we can fill them up with seed and move them to the new location. I literally hit the corner right here to turn in and all of a sudden, boom! My ears started ringing. I saw a bunch of blue smoke come out the side. I thought, oh no, I lost a connecting rod and it went through the block. Then I looked down and I just see a bunch of rubber going everywhere. I wasn't too concerned after that. So that means I gotta take it off bring it to town, get a new tire, come back out, put it on, and away we go. Let's get to work. There's a tad bit of weight on the tire. We've got it up in the truck. Let's head to town and get a new one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. It's just stubbing your toe, that's all it is. You just stub your toe really hard and it blew out. All right, Bowman's time. As you can tell, it's got a pretty good hole on it. Well, because it's a steer tire, you can't put recaps on the front. You're not supposed to do that. Um, they didn't have any new tires, but they did have a used steer tire. And so he said, you know what? Try it, see how it works. And then, uh, let me know if you want that one. You can buy it or we'll order you a set of tires for the front. I said, you know what? I'll call you back. I'm gonna look at the other tire and make sure it looks fairly decent. And I'm gonna say it's not. I'm, we'll probably just have to order a set of tires. But uh, that's what I appreciate about small towns and uh, people that know you. Um, they just kind of like, hey, I know where you live. If you don't contact me, I'll, I'll bill you. It's okay, that's cool. But go ahead and use it for a little bit. I love it. It's awesome, guys. Let's try it. 